AMD wants to let everybody know about how good the Ryzen 9000 series is gonna be. Nobody is buying the Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite and Nvidia's already ready to get the 5090D off the ground. Let's get in the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Tuesday, July 16th, 2024, also known as the first day of Prime Day. If you're watching this, you're probably gonna see that we have a live stream going on where we're going over the latest deals that you can find on the various different sales, whether that's Amazon's Prime Day, the Best Buy's Black Friday in July sale, or even Newegg's Fantastech sale. You can come join us, ask us about deals, and we'll be chatting with you, me and the deal master. You can get both a twofer, if you will. And AMD is trying to convince everybody that they got a twofer of a CPU generation. Incredible CPU performance, incredible GPU performance, creating a most holy matrimony of RDNA 3.5 on the Strix Point APUs that are coming out to mobile. So they showed off a few slides in a big event announcement that they had yesterday that I wasn't even aware was happening. I mentioned in yesterday's episode of Hot News that I didn't know when these things were coming out. And as soon as Hot News dropped, AMD said, hey, uh, they're launching July 31st. So that's great. You know, I'm, I'm definitely on the up and up of everything that's going on. But AMD showing off that the Radeon 890M is fast. It's, it beats Intel's current Meteor-like setup. It also beats the previous Hawk Point graphics at 15 watts, coming in 32% faster with the atrociously named, and I'm gonna keep saying this, AI300 series. You can see here that it's 32% higher performance per watt because it's 32% better at performing at 15 watts compared to the previous generation. But then AMD also showing off how they compare against the current Intel competition as well as the Snapdragon X Elite showing off that the AI9 HX370, which horrible name, is uh, beating all of the other chips. It looks like it's very competitive, beating out the Ultra 9, which makes a lot of sense. The Alchemist graphics that are currently on the Meteor Lake not exactly that great, but Battle Mage is supposed to potentially even these numbers. But as you can see here in this gaming benchmark, uh, obviously the Snapdragon X Elite did not complete everything. You can check my video on gaming on the Snapdragon X Elite in that video right up there because uh, it's it's not good. So I believe these benchmarks that AMD is putting out there, it does look like the Strix Point are going to be incredible. And when they're being compared to previous discrete graphics cards, it looks like they're roughly around a 1070 or a GTX 1650 super in terms of the OpenGL and Vulkan performance in a specific benchmark, making it look like, hey, you, you're just getting this integrated for free on top of the CPU performance that you're paying for. It's good news. And what's also good news is today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by ProtoArc and their exciting Prime Day sales. If you're a Prime Day shopper, you'll be able to save big on ProtoArc's ergonomic and portable tech solutions. Including this sale are some of my favorite ProtoArc products that we've actually talked about on the channel before. Up first is the compact and versatile EK01 tri-fold Bluetooth keyboard. This board is perfect for working on the go and switching between multiple devices. If you want a complete mobile setup, consider the XKM01 combo where you get both the mouse and keyboard. Secondly, we have the EK01 Plus ergonomic split keyboard. If super foldable isn't what you need, consider giving your rest the attention they need with this board. The split design allows for comfortable and ergonomic typing posture, aided by cushioned palm rest to maximize comfort, even after hours of use. Luckily, this keyboard Keyboard also comes in a mouse and keyboard combo, so check out the EKM01 Plus combo if you're interested. Lastly, we have ProtoArc's Trackball Mouse series, the EM01, EM03, and EM04. Being a Trackball Mouse user myself, I highly recommend checking these out. The ergonomic design and the addition of the Trackball allow for precise control and reduced strain during long work sessions. Don't miss out on ProtoArc's great Prime Day sales. Check out their Amazon store or website to upgrade your workspace with ProtoArc's innovative products. You'll be able to save big on ProtoArc's ergonomic and portable tech solutions from July 16th to July 18th with discounts starting at 20% off. Thanks to ProtoArc again for sponsoring today's video. Well, just like ProtoArc's got a lot to show off, AMD still had a lot to show off when it came to the Ryzen 9000 AI 300 event that they had yesterday, including showing off the overclocking capabilities of Ryzen 9000. It looks like it is going to be extra performant. There was a liquid nitrogen event that they also held to show exactly how far the 9950X chip could be pushed as well well as memory overclocking on the fly. You get optimized performance profiles. It has DDR5 up to 8,000, as well as including the new Curve Shaper overclocking feature, which is very similar to the previous core optimizer, but allows you to have it at different points and making it so that your CPU can be more performant at the various different voltage frequencies that you 
you have your CPU at. But also with that, one of the things that came out was that AMD did indeed tweak the 9700X just a little bit to be faster than the 7800X 3D. You might remember that in a previous interview, AMD was like, what, you expected us to beat the 7800X 3D? It's gonna be just slightly worse, it's fine. But now, according to Mark Campbell from Overclock 3D, AMD did confirm that the 9700X is two percent faster than the 7800X 3D, which is all I really wanted when AMD was like, hey, what, what did you expect? That it would be faster? I was like, yeah, by like, at least one to two percent like that's all I need to hear and then I know that it's it's good that's like all I'm looking for and that's exactly what it appears to be we're getting out of the 9700X they showed off how it is faster than first gen AMD 3D V cache so beating the 5800X 3D while also drawing 40 watts in terms of less power and AMD decided that they're now doing a black and gold color scheme for all of their charts instead of like the orange and like red scheme that they had going on before I guarantee you this is tied to AI and like they're trying to look more professional to get Nvidia's market share. They want more investors coming in. So instead of having red, which is a gaming color, now they're black and gold to show how refined and aesthetically pleasing they are. And you can see that uh, that 9700X is at least aesthetically pleasing on its speed. As mentioned and alluded to before, the 9000 series was also confirmed that it is coming out on July 31st, but there is no price point for that. They just showed off that the 9900X, 9700X, and 9600X beat the previous generation, kind of beat everything that Intel has right now. And I honestly, super excited for it. And it's also doing it while it's running at lower power, more efficient chips, making more, better, good, faster go. That's what I want from AMD more better good faster go to the polls and buy them that's what i'm gonna do and reese is gonna tell you how to buy things for prime day but both now and on the stream later yo welcome back to ufd deals bringing the hottest tech deals on the internet it is prime day it's that time of year again and hey wouldn't you know it? we have some deals to go along with that and first up we have this cooler master haaf 500 mid tower atx case available in wide for only 44 dollars 99 with a coupon applied making it 55 dollars off but then next up we have this acer predator 27 inch 4k 160 65 hertz IPS gaming monitor with very good color coverage for only $299.99, making it $150 off. And then lastly, we have this ASUS Tough Gaming A16 laptop featuring a 16 inch 1200p 165 hertz screen, an AMD Ryzen 7 7735HS, a Radeon RX 7700S, 16 gigs of DDR5, and a 512 gig SSD for only $679.99, making it a very respectable $420 off. But hey, them's the deals. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below but don't forget it's prime day so we're gonna be going through deals as the day goes on so be sure to check out the live and the website we'll be continually updating things but until next time i'm gonna hand you off back to brett for the rest of your hot news cheers well reese it looks like people don't think they're getting that good of a deal when it comes to the qualcomm snapdragon x elite chips because reports are coming out that uh nobody's really using these to test anything passmark software announcing that they've only had 56 qualcomm elite submissions as opposed to 22,000 x86 windows submissions in the last 30 days. Mostly this is just intriguing comparing it to the Qualcomm CEO statement that they're gonna capture 50% of the laptop market. They're gonna be everywhere. Turns out for the over thousand dollar price point that you're looking at buying a, the cheapest one of these Snapdragon X Elite laptops for, it just is not something that people are picking up. Additionally, uh, maybe not a lot of people are trying to benchmark them. That kind of wave has ended, whereas people are continuously benchmarking the X86 chips on Passmark. But it doesn't necessarily point to great continuing sales, especially now that the Snapdragon X Elite laptops have been out for almost edging close to a month right now. But we're edging closer to the RT RTX 50 series launch and reports are coming out that not only is the RTX 5090 going to be happening, it looks like the 5090D might be launching somewhere around the same time. So Nvidia might be preparing not just for the Westerners to get the 5090 and the 5080, but then the cut down versions that have to be approved to be available for Chinese export are also going to be available at the same time as well, making it so that there's a splintered lineup that's happening. The D series just being given to China in order for them to have everything that goes outside of the trade embargoes that are happening right now. But the 5090 looking like it is likely going to at least be announced towards the end of this year. The 5090D, at least according to this report, is going to be coming out in January of next year. So I would anticipate that we're, we're looking good for an RTX 50 series launch sometime in the later part of this year. It's not clear how much the 5090D is going to be cut down versus the 5090. The 4090D in a lot of instances was cut down by about 10% in, in some instances, but then the 
there is plenty of evidence showing that you could flash a uh, overclocked 4090 BIOS onto it and that it could actually beat a Founders Edition 4090. So even though technically they've been cut down at the core level, you can still unlock extra performance after the fact to make it so that you're not really missing out on a whole lot. So kind of abiding by the letter of the law rather than the spirit of it. And that sums up NVIDIA's treatment of the US government, if I've ever heard one. They will do what they're told, but not much more than they have to, for sure. And I don't have to read your comments, but I wanna, so I'm gonna do that right now. We got Voltai saying, optimize games, eh, suck more electricity, bing, what's happening? Then Rizzard saying, day by day, having chosen an AM5 motherboard seems like an even better choice. It does, it does appear to be getting sweeter and sweeter as time marches forward. And then Uru Glot saying, AMD has joined to Dark Force. Power, unlimited power. Ha ha, ha ha. Then we got Kristoff saying, it's a 50-50 chance that there'll be a 50-50. And then Crafter saying, you missed a joke about the 50-50. You called it a coin flip, but you could have said something like the chances are 50-50, but I'm what, 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 hold on, if, if you go back, what you'll notice is that I called it a coin flip, right? Because it is the 50-50, it, it was a subtle, joke that was the whole point me being like it's a coin flip well, because it's 50 50 a little heavy-handed but if you notice rick has cut the video he cut my boom because i actually did that noise and if you go back and watch you can see my hands start to do the drum motion i did that and it got cut by my editor and i didn't think it was a big enough deal to tell him to put it back in but now i've seen several comments telling me that i missed the joke even though i intentionally made it so ooh, ooh, rick is, you can't you can't do this to me buddy. <laughs> And then we got Death Sai saying, I really want to know what Mental Gymnastics and Intel fanboy is doing right now to defend Intel. And to which I think uh, a good response was, my 1400K has been stable with an overclock since launch. So this issue is obviously overblown. It's just Reddit nonsense. I, based on the fact that Wendell is on the case and game devs are starting to come out and talk about all of their issues. I don't think it's overblown Reddit nonsense. That's, that's how I'm thinking about it, especially with how little Intel's talking about it. If it was overblown Reddit, nonsense i actually think that they probably would have said more about this by now but considering the fact that uh you know you have uh, partners of intel doing more work about this issue because it affects their business like uh, actual pc makers who are selling intel chips in their computers who are now going to have to deal with higher than average rma counts and then finding out that they're getting screwed on that because intel's not going to actually honor rmas mm, rough situation to be in big problem uh i i don't overblown reddit nonsense time will tell let's find out let's uh let's wade these waters together but i can tell you uh we have we have an upcoming server build for our our streams and 9950x is going in that and i'm going in into the ether the void the the prime day deals stream i'm gonna get into the intertubes and uh stream to your pc your phone wherever you happen to watch us so come join us for that and i'll see you back here for more of the hottest tech news tomorrow